times have you prayed for something like you've prayed and you've been sick and you're wondering why am I not seeing any answers? I've been in pain for 10 days or maybe you prayed for your dog or whatever. There are things that we prayed for and it seemingly don't get any answers, but I can tell you how to get the answers each and every time. If we just, first of all, believe God is who he says he is that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. And it says in Mark eleven twenty four, 24, a New Living Translation, I tell you, you can pray for anything, and if you believe that you've received it, it will be yours. It says, uh, I like this version too, New King James, Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you will have them. Now what is before that is verse 23, and it tr says, Truly, I tell you that if anyone says to this mountain, Be lifted up and thrown into the sea, has no doubt in his heart, but believes that it will happen, it will be, it will be done for him. So whatever you ask for, if you believe that you receive it, you'll have it. How do you know if you believe you receive it? Because when you're tempted and the pain comes back and you said, Lord, Father, in the name of Jesus, I stand on the word of God. First Peter 2, 24 says, by Jesus Christ stripes, I was healed. That means I am healed. And I received the healing of, from this pain. This pain goes away. And, and I command that mountain of pain to leave now in Jesus' name. The pain comes back. And that's when you say, well, the pain came back. No. That's when you need to line your mouth up. You need to make sure that you're saying what you should, should be saying. You continually say, because if you keep saying, uh, pain, go away in Jesus' name, or I believe the pain is gone. I believe the pain is gone. I don't have pain. I don't have pain. There's a common word there, pain, P-A-I-N. But if we will set our focus on saying, by Jesus Christ stripes, I was healed, that means I am healed. By Jesus Christ stripes, I was healed, that means I am healed. I am the healed of the Lord. The healing power of God's working in me right now. Healing belongs to me. It's the children's bread. What is the common word? Healing. And so you begin to line your words up. If you believe you receive it, when you pray, believing you receive it, you will say unto the mountain. You will say, I am healed. So don't look at the circumstances because a lot of times it's through faith and patience, which most people don't want to hear that, but through faith and patience that we obtain whatever we're praying for. Sometimes there's suddenlies, but usually before a suddenly, there's a lot of nothing, 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 nothing. For instance, the woman with the issue of blood. Oh, yes, was it a suddenly? Well, sure. I mean, she touched the hem of his garden and gar garment, and suddenly a touch from heaven. Jesus came and rescued her, and he set her free, and the bleeding dried up, and, and she had gone to all the doctors. She had lost all her money, so she went into poverty because the doctors took all her money and couldn't help her. They were trying, and, but it was one touch from Jesus, and she said, she kept saying, she kept saying, I believe that if I touch his garment, I will be made whole. And so she said that and said that and said that. She went out in public when she could have been stoned for being out, not stoned as in drugged, but stoned. They would throw stones until they crushed you till you died. And because she was not supposed to be out in public, but she, and she had to cr crawl on her hands and knees. If you've been bleeding for 12 years, and most women will understand this, um, you're weak. You don't have the strength to do what it, it, it's, it was even sheer grit that got her to the hem of his garment. And she knew that the minute she touched it, wow, she was healed and the, and the bleeding dried up. So whatever it is you're believing for, believe that you receive it. And I, if it's property, well, we're going through some things for property right now. If it's healing, if it's healing spiritually, physically, mentally, and financially, that's what the transformation, the four stands for. Healing spiritually, physically, mentally, financially. Whatever it is that you're believing for, begin to continue saying and say, I am healed or that's my property. Whatever it is that you're believing for, I, you know, I'm, I'm a great test taker. I just heard the Holy Spirit say, someone says, I, I always freeze when I take tests and I've got to take a test. Quit saying I freeze when I take a test. Say, I am a great test taker because the Bible says if you study to show yourself approved, it, he's, in fact, it says the Holy Spirit will bring things back to your remembrance, which means that you have to study so that you can, he has something to bring back to your remembrance, but he will do it. So that's my encouragement. Believe that you receive when you pray, not, not when you see the results then that's not even faith. You don't need to believe that you receive something that you're seeing right now, right? No, you believe that you receive what you're not seeing, calling those things that be not as though they were, and start thanking him in advance before you see the result of your prayer. But the Bible's not a lie. God's not a liar. He said, if you will believe that you receive it when you pray, you will 
have it. Say it, I will have it. I will have it. I'm Pastor Becky. This is Becky's Blurbs, TransformationChurch.com here in Central Florida. Come see us. Keep tuning in. Share this. There are so many people that have given up on their prayers and I just repent. Say, Lord, I didn't stick with it. I just come back to you and believe that you receive when you pray and you will have it. And I'd love to hear your praise reports, even your prayer requests. Just, just let me know. Love you. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm.